Hi, I'm Matt and today we're going to learn about how to use the knobs on a MIDI controller such as this one to control parameters for an instrument or an effect in Logic. It's nice and easy, take a couple minutes, so let's dive in. Okay, so we are in Logic and I've already got a track set up, uh, just a real basic electric piano with some chords going around. Nice, pretty standard stuff. And today we're going to use the Akai LPD, LPD8 and the knobs on that to control effects um, of the plugin and the instrument itself. So to do this, we go up here to Logic, Control Services, and Control Assignments. Uh, I've got a bunch of things in here already, but we're just going to ignore those for now and just go ahead and click Add. It's an expert view, but pretty much everything that we're going to be doing is going to be an easy view, so don't let the expert view uh, put you off. I'm just going to call this something simple that I remember, like LBD8. You can call it whatever you want, it doesn't really matter too much. Then we can go back to easy view. Uh, First of all, the first um, thing I'm going to want to control is I've got this uh, One Knob Pumper by Waves. Uh, this is a bit like a sort of sidechain compression type effect. This is what it sounds like with zero. It does basically what it sounds like it should do. Just gives that pumping kind of sidechain compression sort of effect. So that's what we're going to control. Stop that for now. What we're going to do in here, nice and easy, click Learn. Select LPD8. Back to the easy view. And all we have to do is click on this uh, the knob. And then I'm going to tilt the camera down so you can see what I'm doing here. So here we've got my controller. I just want to turn this first knob to effect knob on there. And as you can probably see, um, it's already picked that up. And as I'm turning this knob, it's controlling there. So when we play, like that, there's that. Now for the time being, um, if we go into uh, the open new automation lane, we've got this set to read. Uh, this is a bit like a practice kind of mode. Anything you do on here is, is not going to write anything. If you wanted to do a take, record your automation, go down to touch. And then you can, when you press play, you're basically recording that automation. So let's give that a quick go. Pretty rough, but um, you get the idea that it's made changes with that. Okay, so that's how to do it in one, one knob pumper. Nice and easy. We're going to get rid of those though. And change that back to change it back to read for now. So the next thing I'm going to do is make changes to the instrument itself. Uh, what should we do? Let's change this uh, cutoff. Same sort of process again. Control surfaces, control assignments. LPD8, easy view. I'm going to learn. LPD8. And we're going to just click once on that uh, cutoff. So it goes, oh. Yeah, you want to learn the alchemy cutoff on this selected track, and we're going to use the second knob this time. So, as you see me moving the knob on the controller, you should be able to see it 
moving there as we play. It's going to sound like that. And again, because this is read, it's not actually recording any automation. If I change that to touch, you can see it making changes. And as we're looping, you can do any, basically overwrite any settings that we've got there already. That's how to do that. Nice and easy. I hope this has been useful. I hope it's been fun. Catch me on the next one. Uh, stay safe. See you soon.